A follow up tonight to the most recent crash involving a train in South Mississippi. You're looking at video from the incident on Thursday in Biloxi, a car colliding with the train at the Seal Avenue crossing. Victor Williams spoke to the person who was behind the wheel of the car involved and has more on his terrifying experience. Just happy to be alive. Felt blessed. There was a good chance that I was about to die. Brandon Ferrer looks at what used to be his car and where he could have potentially taken his last breath. Just days ago, he found himself behind the wheel right on the tracks of an oncoming train. Right before it hit the car, I heard the horn blow, and the next thing I know, I was sitting on the side of the railroad staring at the back of a train driving by. But what could have possibly led to the accident happening? Ferrer says he was leaving the mall heading home. There's a um, road closed through traffic sign due to all the construction work on the road. So you have to go around it to actually get down my road. Ferrer says he pulled up to the stop sign before the tracks on Seal Avenue and proceeded normally. Look to my right, look to my left, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. There's a, a little bit of shrubbery growing out over the ditch, partially blocking the view of the tracks. And then the train hit the front side of his car, pushing him several feet away from the point of impact. The pole caught my car right here and help stop me from going off into the ditch. Now he's just thankful he's alive, able to walk away from the crash. The only injury he bears, a scar and the shape of the car's logo after the airbag deployed. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. That could have been the, I could have been paralyzed. I could have been killed. So many other outcomes could have happened besides what I walked away with. In Biloxi, Victor Williams, W L O X News Now. The Seal Avenue crossing has a railroad crossing sign, but no bells, lights or crossing arms that can pose as a warning to drivers who may cross the tracks. City leaders say in the past they've expressed concerns about there needing to be more warning signals of the crossing, but they say that all falls in the hands of CSX and MDOT.